<clears throat> Yo, what's up, bros and broettes? <clears throat> Today is an awesome day because <clears throat> I'm letting you guys know an uh, update on that center console piece. And, uh,. Wherever I put it, I guess I put it in the garage. But anyways, <clears throat> uh, this is obviously a 240 video. <clears throat> but as you can see, this thing is the uh, shift boot. As you can see, it looks terrible. You know, all the leather is cracking and dirty and moldy on the bottom side. And <clears throat> so since I'm doing like a black and gold black gold and like kind of like purple theme with the car I'll be changing the shift boot out and one of my co-workers was <clears throat> nice enough to give me a black crown royal shift boot <clears throat> with the gold so that fits the theme black and gold so obviously I'll be replacing this shift boot with this so <clears throat> and I also ordered some uh, carbon fiber wrap. It's like it's a high gloss black with gold. It's like a almost like a goldish black color or blackish gold color <clears throat> that I'll use to wrap the um, the what is it called? Oh, it's right there. <clears throat> wrap the center console bezel piece. It goes around the climate controls and the radio and the shift boot. So, <clears throat> with those things, <clears throat> that will complete the center console, but I still got to take out the dash and uh, re uh, fix the cracks. There's two cracks in it, I want to fix them. And then replace the... Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, wrap it in uh, like a suede. The clutch also comes in today, so I'll go ahead and put that on today as well on the trend on the RB25. And uh, yeah, so until tonight. Yo, what's up, bros and broettes? My clutch kit came, and here it is. I kind of started opening it before I start filming, so but here is the flywheel. Yeah, really excited about that. It looks really good, actually. Uh, that's the flywheel. Now I just got um, nothing special. This is just an XTR kit. I uh, bought it on eBay for $200. Uh, you know, the packaging probably could be a little bit better, but I'm not complaining yet. Uh, this is just supposed to be a stage one. Yeah, this is just a stage one kit, so. This piece must be the clutch. Yep. There's my clutch disc. Instructions. And then the pressure plate, which is red. So we got the pressure plate. This should be the throw out bearing. Yep, I'm gonna throw out bearing. The new, this is the tool with the pilot bushing. So I must say, so far, just from the, the looks of the car and everything, I'm very happy. <laughs> Very happy. Uh, I'm really happy with this new job too. Things are going well. Uh, you know, making making progress and whatnot. So, really happy about that. And uh, you know, things are moving along. But with that said, um, I'm probably going to end this video here because my battery is dying. So, um, but I guess I'm going to get the flywheel put on and the next part of the video and then uh, we'll go from there after that I had the transmission on so 
So flywheel, clutch, and transmission, those all need to go on. And then the starter back on, and then I'm gonna borrow a compression tester from uh, a friend and uh, test the, the pressure on the compression for the cylinders and everything. I already looked at the videos, they look good, but I just wanna confirm of what I saw, so. Better to be safe than sorry to get go through a whole bunch of work and then put get it in the car and the engine be bad or whatever. So, but with that said, uh, until I come back. Yeah, what's up, guys? Back again. Uh, got the uh, flywheel and clutch and everything on. It was a bit of a pain in the butt because this was an automatic. Came with it originally. Came automatic and everything. So. Uh, the little bushing, there's an automatic bushing in there uh, that was too big for the inner diameter was too small for the new throw out, the pilot bushing. So what I did was um, I just took my Dremel with a sanding thing on it like this. Like that, a little sanding thing. And I just dremeled it out until it was, you know, worked my way around it real slow. Until I was able to get uh, the pilot bushing to go in nice and easy. It wasn't too hard. I just used a socket and a hammer. And it went in, you know, not slicing through, you know, butter with a hot knife. But it went in, you know, pretty easy. <laughs> uh, so I'm not too worried. I'm not worried about that. Uh, I did get, you know, and since I didn't have uh, the original flywheel and everything, it did not have uh, these bolts, so I went to Home Depot and bought the uh, size bolts that I needed. And they were uh, M8 by uh, 125, 1.25 I mean, by and 16 millimeter in length. So I got all those with some locking washers, tightened those down to spec, uh, 25 foot pounds or uh, 34 uh, newt meters or whatever the heck's called. And then the flywheels, flywheel bolts are bolted down, torqued down to uh, 105 foot-pounds. So that's good to go. I ended up having to take the flywheel back off because I forgot to put this plate on. But, uh, hey, whatever. <laughs> I got the new throw-out bearing on. That was actually really easy to get off. Get the old one off and get the new one on. And then the transmission uh, will go back in tomorrow. I'll probably put that back on tomorrow. Uh, mainly because I'm tired. I've been working. I've worked nine hours today, ten hours a day. Uh, so you know, I just do a little bit here and there after work, and on the weekend, you know, I try and do a little bit, and and then also while spending time with my wife. So, with that said, um, that's gonna be it for tonight. I'm gonna continue this tomorrow when I get the transmission back on, and then. Uh, we're getting closer. Next paycheck will be the motor mounts and then that will be at least the heart going into the car. Regina will get her heart. Uh, she won't be, all the valves and everything won't be hooked up, but the heart will be in the cavity, in her chest. So, but with that said, until tomorrow night. All right guys, uh, so I decided to quit being lazy tonight and actually uh, go ahead and get that transmission put on. So. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to get the transmission dragged over here. Well, it's not heavy, so I'm not going to drag it. But I'm going to go ahead and get the transmission over here and uh, get it in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get this on there and then I'll come back. All right, it's on. Transmission is on. That is awesome. <laughs> Clutch is in, transmission's on, starter's on. Uh, this Saturday I'm gonna borrow my uh, friend's compression tester so I can check, com 
so I can check compression and make sure all is good. Um, but with that said, I'm really happy that I finished this tonight. Uh, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I'm happy. I gotta order a slave, a slave cylinder for the clutch and a master cylinder because mine is leaking. Um, but other than that, I also gotta order the motor mounts. But I'm gonna order the motor mounts first. And uh, I also am gonna have to order a shifter. Probably gonna get a uh, KA short shifter. Uh, the only difference is, is I'm pretty sure that this needs to be. Actually, I'm not quite sure what that is for. Looks like there's a spring in there, but uh, should be something in there. Anyways, um, I am going to call it, uh, damn hair. I'm gonna call it a night tonight, but that is all I wanted to get done for this episode. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I finished it. Uh, so until next time guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because man does it go a long ways and I definitely need it. So, with that said, uh, until next time, peace out and never look back.